This is Lee from the Enquirer and I'm here with Isotopes at Leeds University where the firm's fully immersed liquid cooled service system has been running since February. Could you give us a run through of the technology and how it works here please? Sure, um, so what we have here is an industry standard cabinet uh, and that contains up to 48 servers each of which are independently fed with their own uh, cooling system and uh, are hot swappable clean and dry and it gives you a huge amount of compute in such a small footprint. Totally silent, you can go anywhere. So could you explain sort of how the technology works inside and what's going sure. on? Sure, um, what we've got is uh, at the top of the system we have power distribution, so we're distributing power to each of three independently fed module centres, each of which have their own liquid cooled power supplies, and then we can get eight servers in each of the chassis so three eighths to the front and three eighths to the back, making uh, 48 servers. Um, each server is a two socket system and the, the electronics are actually immersed in a liquid called Novec from 3M and that convex, naturally convects the heat away from the electronics to an integrated cold plate and then you can just see the pipe work at the back. Uh, there's a small amount of water in the back that then harvests that heat using gravity to a heat exchanger at the bottom of the cabinet where the heat is then available for facilities to either reuse or uh, dispose of. Great. Um, and what are the main advantages of using this setup as opposed to a traditional? So I think the main advantage is very simply our energy efficiency. So each server uses up to 25% less power than a traditional server because there are no fans, no moving parts. Secondly, we capture all of the heat. So uh, it is 90% efficient at capturing that heat and delivering it in liquid for you to reuse, so another additional saving. And as you can hear, well you can hear a lot of noise because this is a lab, but actually this system makes no noise, just two moving parts, two small central heating pumps in the bottom of the cabinet circulate the water, so it is the most energy efficient solution on the market venue today. And um, we see over here that there's radi uh, radiators attached. How, is this, how does this work and how is it able to power well, them? Well, this, this, this is a working laboratory and um, what's being measured here in Leeds by Dr John Summers is how efficient the system is in capturing the heat and moving it through, in this particular instance, commercially available radiators or domestic radiators. So the idea very much is that I can, because we're capturing heat efficiently, and um, we're talking about temperatures of up to 50 degrees Celsius, that heat can be reused. And obviously in reusing that heat, we again double the carbon savings. So the carbon savings in en energy efficiency, carbon savings in heat reuse. Right. And what sorts of companies would be looking to employ this server? We've started off selling quite successfully into universities, uh, into high performance computing. Uh, but we also have a lot of interest from particularly hostile environments. If you think about it, the system is immune to uh, humidity, it doesn't breathe air, so it doesn't matter what the environmental conditions it's going into from an air pollution perspective, uh, so mine heads, oil rigs, you name it, it can go there. Uh, we also have interest from financial services and from cloud service providers who want to offer the most energy efficient solution on the market. Great, thank you very much. Pleasure.